Hey everyone, my name's Jacob, and as you probably guessed from the intro, this is a video about iDuration sketching. Totally guessed it! Anyway, let's get to it. So, iDuration sketching is the initial sketching a designer would do to get their thoughts onto paper. A lot of the designs I've talked to agree that this is probably the most important form of design drawing that you could possibly learn. It also happens to be the type of design drawing that I struggle with the most. Sure, give me a nice, long, several hour render, I can do that, nice. But when it comes to fast sketching, I am hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. But, just the other week on Instagram, I received this comment. It was from a guy called Jacob Bowler, not me Jacob, another Jacob, who runs Sketchfresh. And he said, just stumbled on your industrial design vlogs. You have some really engaging content. And after I saw this, I thought there could be an opportunity for a collaboration here because this Jacob is incredibly good at eye duration sketching. He's a master of it. So, cut a long story short, I messaged him. I said, Jacob, do you want to do a collaboration? He was like, yes, Jacob, I want to do a collaboration. So, this Jacob and this Jacob got together and we did a Skype call, which brings me to where I am now. All right, so eye duration sketching. Um, so this is something I'm, I'm, I'm not good at. I'm just gonna put it out there, but so what I'm planning to do with this video is do the Skype, get the lesson, and then for this next week I'll, I'll try to put about 20 hours into it and just really nail on that and that'll be the body of the video. And then cool. maybe this time next Sunday we might do like a recap and sort of feedback critique session and I think that'd be quite a quite a neat video. I love that. I think that's spot on. Okay, so when we started the Skype call, Jacob explained to me what eye duration sketching was and where in the process it is actually used. So, it's like this. This line here represents time. And this is your quality of drawings over time. Yeah. You know, you start here, it's great, things are flowing. Nice, a lot of ideas, cool. Here, not so much flowing, you're tired, ugh. Let's say you gotta get 100 ideas onto paper. If you had an extended amount of time, Totally fine, but the thing is, you do not have extended amount of time. There are always deadlines. So, how do we hit that 100 sketch goal in that short amount of time? And this is where our duration of sketching comes in. There are three types of sketches that you need to do. Number one is personal sketches, and these are going to be your thumbnails. And then the next one is your peer-to-peer -peer sketches. So these are like the sketches that you'd use, that, you know, they're a bit more refined, like this. So you can have the conversation with other designers. And then you have your final, you have your final sketches which are for the clients. And these are your mighty fine, very flash renders. Maybe even you'll do it in sort of a CAD layover. These are the ones that you spend time. So in these ones you want to spend 5 minutes per drawing max. These ones you might want to spend 10 to 20 minutes. And these ones you want to spend an hour plus. So the idea is that you want to do tons and tons of these to get the concept and then you take the ones that you really like from there and you do a bit more refined ones to talk over with your peers and then from there you get your final client ones done. That is how we do it and this is why eye duration sketching is so important because it allows you to move at speed which is vital, absolutely vital in a real job. You do not have time to spend eight hours on a drawing which is what I used to do. You gotta get them fast. <laughs> Anyway, back to the Skype. Um, so we'll just try to knock out, and I'm gonna try to go for speed here. So we'll try to do this in about 10 minutes. Uh, okay, so the idea here is I'm gonna try to fill this page with concepts. Um, I thought it would be fun to do an earbud. So I'm gonna fill this page with some orthographics of some earbuds. So I'm just gonna go for it. Again, it's, it's, it's about idea generation at this point. I'm not too concerned about, um, you know, specific details, you know, working or if this part line is, isn't doing, you know, exactly what it needs to do. Um, I'm really just trying to search forms and different ways that someone might be able to interact with this product. Let's do one that's a little slimmer profile. Like, what are you thinking right now as you do that one? So I think right now I'm trying to make sure that my shapes are varied and my concepts are varied um, as opposed to them all being the same. So I think I'm just trying to vary. 
And again, kind of based on that kind of first rule of not stopping, it'd be very easy for me to go, oh my God, that detail doesn't make sense. I'm not happy with, you know, I don't know, that part line. Um, I'm really trying to just power through. So I'm going to call this concept A. I really like the simplicity of this, but I really like on this one, um, how this is kind of broken up form wise. So I'm gonna try to blend those kind of two ideas together. So at this page, that page that we did, uh, call those thumbnails. And at this next page I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get it done in about 10 minutes, same time frame. Um, I'm gonna try to do uh, an ortho. I'm gonna try to do um, at least one perspective, maybe um, a front three quarter, or maybe kind of like a re rear three quarter. So as I'm sketching this out, I'm constantly referencing this, this ortho sketch that I have here. I know that in its basic form, it's just a cylinder. So those contour lines, it's acting kind of like as a highlight, um, but the way I'm sketching it, it'll help kind of inform the form. All right, so it's been about five minutes and I have a side ortho done and a main perspective done. Um, oh, I don't want to forget that SF. Okay, um, I want to do a rear quarter, rear three quarter. Um, so because this is such a simplistic shape, it's basically just broken down of primitives. Um, and even if this was a more complicated shape, a lot of times I'll throw an axis line down. Um, so that axis line is telling me and helping inform where my ellipses are being dropped. Um, so, that ellipse is gonna go there. Cause I could see people's going, what is actually happening um, on that backside there? Um, and I want to be able to help facilitate that conversation as opposed to saying, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, and maybe this is just a line of airports. Maybe that's exactly what's happening. So the sound goes in, the air comes out. Um, and maybe I show how that air is Kind of being dynamically affected. Okay, um, I'm going to drop a vignette around this. Um, bang. So when I do my vignettes, I never use guides. Um, I really want to train myself, continue training myself not to use guides, and I want to be hindered by that tool. So for example, a ruler I consider a tool and I, I don't want to use that. So um, in order to make straight vignettes and make them connect, I draw in my mind, I put a point down, I put a point down, I come down here, I literally put a point down here, and then I go over again, and I'm envisioning that point being dropped there. So then I'm just connecting those points. So you prefer not to use rulers at all, just because it slows the process down, or? Slows the process way down. Um, imagine if I was, imagine how long it would take if I was using ellipse guides. Imagine then how long it would take for me to drop in, you know, ruler guides. Um, you can get really tight sketches down, but if I'm trying to get a concept out every 10 minutes, um, that's only gonna slow me way down. So then you were talking about line weight. Um, I'm gonna add some line weight to this guy. And I'm going out the outside edges first, and then I can kind of come in. Um, I'm gonna quickly put down some color on this. So I don't like to fully render everything at this level. Okay. And this takes practice, <laughs> Jacob. This is like, this isn't a, you pick it up quick. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time um, and I feel, I'm starting to feel pretty confident over the past five years, but it's taken me a while. But I think the important thing is thumbnail stage, just don't stop. Force looking at different ideas, force bouncing around the page, force, idea generation. And then once you get to this page, um, allow yourself to calm down for a second, breathe, think through that orthographic, and then think through your concept and just bring it to life. And again, the intention with this page, this fidelity of a page, is to help facilitate peer-to-peer -peer conversation and not present it to a client. Um, you know, you hope it looks really cool and sexy at the end, but if at the end of the day it's just communicating, then you're still gaining value out of that conversation, you're still gaining value out of this exercise.
All right, all right, thanks, Jacob. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of work ahead of me now, but should be good. Yeah, don't feel, I mean, I guess my other rule, mm. and you have to do this if you're gonna move forward with this, this is like no negotiation here, you have to do this. Okay. Is to have fun with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Three days later. If you feel like this is too much, or you feel like you're not having fun, or you don't feel like you're progressing in the way that you want, I would say just hit the brakes, because there's nothing worse than going through something when you're uninspired and you don't feel passionate. Um, so yeah, just have a lot of fun, man. Yeah, cool. All right, thanks, Jacob. Cool. Yeah, thank you, Jacob. I appreciate <laughs> it. All right, well, have a good evening. You too, man. See ya. See ya. And there you have it, people. I hope you enjoyed that Skype call and learned as much as I did from it. So, where to now? Part two is gonna be me trying out all of these things that I've learned for real. This is the one where the rubber hits the road, where the learning begins. So, definitely, if you haven't already, subscribe, and that one will be coming out in a week's time. Oh, I'm excited to show you, but man, it was a lot of hard work. But, iDuration sketching, people, is so useful. I've been using it recently in a project I'm doing now, and oh, it has made it so much easier. So, I will see you in the next video.